It's an emotional journey of tragedy, triumph, and healing. Best-selling author, producer, and motivational speaker, Devon Franklin launches an audible original, It Takes a Woman. His latest project celebrates the women who raised him and his two brothers after his father's death. Take a listen. The emotional tissue in It Takes a Woman is found in the sharing of the voices of the women who have helped me to navigate the greatest trials in my life, tap into my own inner resilience, and have helped to make me the man that I am today. And I don't want their voices to get lost in the sands of time. Mm, I like that. Joining us right now, studio executive and minister Devon Franklin. Devon, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. I think you have to unmute yourself. There Thank you, you so go. Much for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. I'm so glad that you did this. And talk to us a little bit about um, the celebration of these women who really made you the man who you are today and why it was important for you to create this body of work. Yeah, you know, um, first of all, when my father passed away, you know, me and my brothers didn't know what we were going to do. And my mother assembled the village. She, it was her grandmother, I mean, her mother and her seven sisters that came around us. So my eight, seven great aunts, my grandmother and my mother surrounded me and my brothers. And in doing this book, I did not want just you all to hear my account. So on this book, you hear my mother's voices. You hear my five great aunts that are still alive. The youngest is 76. The oldest is 96. Mm. Because so often as black men, we tell the world what black women have done. But I wanted the world to hear firsthand what black women have done, not only for me, but for countless generations. And this book really memorializes and canonizes their story as much as it canonizes my story. And Devon, I love that you're telling this story too and celebrating these women in this very special way. Is there one particular story that stands out that uh, you can share with us right now? Yes, you know, I mean, this book covers everything from tragedy to triumph. You know, uh, one of the stories that, that really resonates with me, I mean, there's a chapter uh, in this book where we talk about, you know, not only the death of my father, but how everybody reacted to that death. And in doing this book, it was the first time I really had a chance to talk to the women in my family and get their account of what happened. And I learned so much about myself. I learned so much about my father that I did not know. And I also learned so much about them. This was the first time they had an opportunity to talk talk about what they have been through and the catharsis and the emotion and the humor and, and the, le the levity really spoke to me. So there is a chapter where we talk about the death of my father that really surprised me. And then there's also chapters about sex and money and life. So this is a book that really runs the gamut and the listener will get a full experience of life. And, and we're going to circle back to those topics too. But I also want to talk about your older brothers because you're going to be saluting them as well in the book. Yeah, see, I'm the middle child of three boys. So I have an older brother, his name is uh, Ray, a younger brother, his name is Brandon. And so in this book, I, I talk about how these women, this village surrounded us and made sure through wisdom, through discipline, through faith, that we did not become a statistic. And thankfully, uh, me and my brothers are doing well. Uh, we have our versions of successful life and we would not be where we were are if it wasn't for the women in our life. And I really try to highlight that. And it takes a woman. Oh, love that too. Um, let's talk a little bit about, because we know a lot of people knew that you were married to Megan Good. You were very open about that, very candid about the relationship, even going into the marriage. And then uh, everyone was very shocked and, and saddened to learn that you both uh, decided to go your separate ways. It was interesting to me that you talked about being in pain, yet in peace while going through this divorce. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, in the book, It Takes a Woman, there's a chapter on marriage, you know, and I'm very transparent. I, don't, I just say, listen, who would have ever thought that I would have been here? And then I get a chance to bring in the different voices from my mom and my, grand, my aunts to really talk about marriage, you know? I mean, anybody who's been through a marriage, you know, you just gotta take it one moment at a time. And I was so grateful to do this book, to be able to at least say, hey, no matter what, uh, is going on in my life, having this village around me, uh, even in a difficult moment, has been a key to survival. And when the listener hears It Takes a Woman, they're going to get an insight to uh, how to navigate love, how to navigate family, and how to navigate friendship. I know that you're talking about um, marriage, relationship, sex, um, also about money situations as well. Can you tell us, like this, as well as your journey, is this kind of like a guide for people if they're going through these challenges possibly as well in their own lives? 
Well, yeah, I mean, you know, and, and this book is transparent. It's the most transparent project I've ever done because like, for example, in the money chapter, I talk about that my mother in the village did not prepare me and my brothers to manage money at all. And you hear firsthand some of my great aunts talking about how they wish they would have done more with their money, not just spent it on clothes and looking good. They said that they have a whole closet full of clothes, but not a home that they own. Mm -hmm. And so when you hear the transparency, especially in our culture, culture in our community around sometimes the ups and downs of managing money, you're going to hear also some ideas and some thoughts on what to do and what not to do. And that's what this book, I think, really will impact the listener, because it's not just a, hey, follow us. It's a like, hey, let me tell you what we did wrong. Let me tell you what we did right. And let me also tell you what we're trying to figure out. Oh, wonderful. And you know what? We talked about you being a studio executive leading into the story, but uh, you've also created some successful inspirational films. And now you're getting ready to release another film and also a TV series. Can you tell us a little bit more about that before we let you go? Yeah, I have a brand new series on BET Plus called Kingdom Business. Uh, it, it's eight episodes of a one hour drama that's going to blow you away. It's kind of like a music drama set in the world of gospel music. It comes out May 19th, and I'm excited for everybody to see that. And I'm also in post production on a new film called Flamin' Hot which is all about the story of Richard Montanez, who is the godfather of Flamin' Hot Cheetos. I can't wait for y'all to see that. <laughs> Devon, thank you so much for joining us. Looking forward to uh, listening to this book as well and hearing your story, your journey, and, and really watching to see how you celebrate and salute the women in your life. You take care. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Sharon. It's a pleasure. The audiobook It Takes a Woman by Devon Franklin is available now on Audible.